It's Friday, April 2nd, and time for another construction update. And of course, today is Good Friday, a very significant day for everyone who holds dear our precious Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, thinking about the time that he spent on the cross, suffering like he did for us. Today seems like an appropriate day to raise the cross on the outside of our building. I've already shot some footage, which I'll show you in a moment. And the cross looks good, everything is in place. The crane, the crane should show up at about 12 or so. We'll have our service at 12.30 and then the raising of the cross at one o'clock. It was a symbol of shame in the early centuries and yet it became a symbol of victory for the church. A symbol of suffering and pain and now for us, a symbol of eternal life because of our sins being washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ, which he shed on the cross, died, was buried, rose again. That's the gospel. And he's coming again someday for his church. All right, we can see right there the brackets. You can also see the wiring for the lights. Looks like everything is prepared. The crane is supposed to show up later on. The service starts at 1230. The cross will be installed at one o'clock. Very beautiful. Weighs about 300 pounds. A crane is needed to install it. So we're looking forward to that. Something that you might not have noticed otherwise is we're getting roofs on our entry points. This is in the front and another one is being worked on in the back. They're not completed yet, but it'll be nice to keep those areas dry. What you just saw was in the front and now this is in the back. And last but not least, you can see that a lot of drywall has been mudded and sanded and now there are painters working on the areas of the beams that maybe need a little bit of extra preparation so they're spray painting those areas and making sure that they're ready for the paint that will go on Thank you. 
That's it for this episode of our construction videos. Wherever you might go this weekend, this Easter weekend, Resurrection Sunday weekend, make sure that you give glory to God. Jesus suffered and died, but he rose again. That's the good news. And he's promised that he also is going to raise all of us who believe in him and trust in him to a forever family in heaven to be with God forever and ever. God bless you. We'll see you soon.